Check out Precision Connections at PrecisionConnectionsOrder.com with the right connections are the only connections. So I've been looking through my comment section and I've been getting a lot of requests to do this particular video. So here I am and let's just jump right into it. So this is a mock-up of a door lock actuator system interface with an alarm, siren, these two relays I'm going to explain to you guys later what they're for. So basically this is your door lock actuator motor and it's a bi-directional device meaning that if you put power in one configuration it goes one way up you put it in another figure configuration and it goes one way down for example if I connect positive to this blue wire and these are literal examples you can actually do it you connect positive to this blue wire and you connect negative to this green wire the door lock actuator will go up unlocking the doors you flip that around you connect positive to the green wire negative to the blue wire door lock actuator motor goes down locking the doors so now I just wanted to get a basic definition on this so let's go to the control mechanism and the control mechanism that I'm going to cover in this video are two port important in control mechanisms actually three you have your relay control mechanism and then you have your direct switch control mechanism and I'm just gonna run through the direct switch first so that you guys could get a good understanding of what's going on all right so as I already explained positive on blue negative on green and as you see over here you have your blue wire in the middle and right below or above depending on how I have this camera configured you have your green so you always want that in the middle on a six pin switch you have four wires coming in but you're gonna have six at the end and I'm gonna explain to you why and how when you connect your positive you gotta also connect the negative because you're gonna jump it over to the other side so you're basically creating a flip-flop with the switch so instead of me taking the two wires and flipping them around on a battery the switch is going to do it for us so that's why we have it flipped around so, all right so we have positive right here right so positive and then we're going to have blue in the middle and then we're going to have positive at the end we're going to have negative we're going to have green and then we're gonna have negative at the end so you always want to have the two colors on the same rail or the same network you gotta have the same matching colors on the same network that's why it's very important to use these standard colors black red green blue this way you don't confuse yourself you can always run back to this video and you get the thing right the first time all right so on one network, we're going to call this network one, the positive network. You're going to have red, blue, red. But then what you're going to do, you're going to take a black and you're going to tap it into the first red. And then you're going to jump it across onto your last green, your last negative. So it's going to be black. So the reason why I chose black is because it's negative. So we're going to have... A negative jumping to the end and then we're gonna have the negative in the middle this is the control the motor control and then we gonna have the negative coming directly from the battery so what's gonna basically happen is when you hit the switch when you hit the switch in this direction it's gonna take the negative and the positive and the positive is gonna get go to the blue negative is going to go to green the motor is going to go up when you hit the switch in this direction it's going to take the positive it's going to take the negative to the blue and then it's going to take the positive to the green because remember we flip flopped it you see you have black black on red and you have red on black so it's flipped the, the polarities are flipped the reason why I, I like to keep it like this 
is so that you know you're on the same rail. You don't want to have negative, negative on the positive rail. This way, you don't confuse yourself in putting a negative directly on a switch, creating a short circuit. So you always want to do it this way. Pause the video if you want and just look at the configuration. Maybe you do a screenshot or printout, and this is how you want to wire it. You want to have your positive coming in. You want to have it attached to a black wire jumping over. So this is going to be your this is going to be a false positive to a negative and your false negative to a positive just to keep everything unified and in the same color scheme. And I'm going to actually show you how it works. All right. So this is my switch wire. Right. And this is my motor wire. So I'm going to connect. Let me just get this out the way. You see it's already doing it. But the reason why is it has to be in the middle. You see it's in the off position. All right, I had it in the um the lock position. So let me just jump right here. Let me just back this up a little bit. So, as I said, when we go this way, it locks. When we go the other way, it unlocks. Let me just show you guys on the camera. So, we're in the car. We go this way. That locks the doors. That way, it unlocks the doors. And that's this is a direct connection. The relays are not in play. The relays has their own separate line which is right here so it's not in play at all